Beckel's diverticulum occurs in approximately 2% of the population and it is caused by incomplete regression of the vitello-intestinal or vitiline duct. Most occur approximately 40 cm proximal to the ileocecal valve and they occur on the anti-mesenteric side of the bowel, that's the side of the bowel opposite the mesentery. This is a photograph of a Meckel's diverticulum. The fatty strip at the bottom of the picture is the mesentery and opposite this is the diverticulum that has arisen on the anti-mesenteric border of the bowel. This is another photograph of a Meckel's diverticulum which you can clearly see how again it has arisen on the anti-mesenteric side of the bowel. Meckel's diverticuli are tubular structures usually approximately 1 to 5 cm long although some can be as long as 26 cm. Histologically they are composed of all layers of the normal intestinal wall. This Meckel's diverticulum has been bisected. You can see that the lumen is in continuity with the lumen of the small bowel. You can also see that the lumen of the Meckel's is somewhat narrower than that of the adjacent small bowel. This is a low power microscopic view of a Meckel's diverticulum. Again you can see how it is composed of the normal layers of the small bowel. Most Meckel's diverticuli are lined by normal small bowel mucosa. Some contain heterotopic gastric mucosa and some contain heterotopic pancreas. This is the usual lining of a Meckel's diverticulum and that is normal small bowel mucosa composed of villi. And here we can see heterotopic gastric mucosa in a Meckel's. Most Meckel's diverticuli are asymptomatic but the diverticulum may become inflamed and this clinically resembles acute appendicitis. Where there is heterotopic gastric mucosa this may ulcerate, bleed and perforate and occasionally Meckel's diverticulum may present as intersusception. Malignancy arising in Meckel's is rare.